Hello everyone, welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie and today I am continuing on with this November No Buy Junk Journal Challenge hosted by Silver Moon Creations on YouTube. And this is the third video kind of pertaining to this and I'm gonna work a little bit on the cover of the journal. I feel like I'm very behind. I, but I still have a month left, so it should be okay. This isn't gonna be a big chunky journal. So I got rid of a lot of my stuff to make covers. <laughs> so I did find this which was a notebook at one point, and I really love the paper that was in here, and I will use some of that to put back in this journal, but I think this is what I'm going to use, but I don't wanna completely cover it, so I think I'm just gonna do like a panel of fabric. But yeah, that is the plan today. Um, I just need to get into this. I was gonna do like, I have these like ginormous envelopes, shipping envelopes, and I was gonna try to use one of those to like make a bunch of flips and flaps and whatnot, but my brain was not figuring that out. And so we're gonna simplify this a little bit, but it'll still be, It'll still be very cute, I think. So I'm going to use some of this. Let's get a ruler. All right. Okay, so maybe I do like, I wanna be able to see, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like some detail on this cover. Maybe like six by nine panel. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to use my pinking shears, is cut six by nine panels of this fabric. Maybe like six and a half. Alrighty, this is going to be smaller. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. So this will be the back panel. This will be the front. That actually looks really nice. I like it. Although, maybe this should be the front because what I would like to do, I don't know why, but this is what I want to do. Well, let's see if it looks okay. Just maybe put, oh, owls, kind of all around. Oh, you're big. And then in the center, some sort of portrait. Oh, is this weird? These were for a different journal. I kind of like it. 
he's a little big, but. And these are a uh, digital. I'll link it down below because I really don't know where I got it from. I'll have to look it up and link it for you guys. But yeah, this is kind of the thought. And then yes, uh, like a painted portrait. I have no idea how I'm going to do that because I cannot draw or paint. So that should be interesting. We're not gonna do that today, but I do like this. I also was thinking maybe putting some like batting underneath so it's kind of squishy and it gives some dimension. I want this to be smaller than my fabric. Okay. And I do need to cut a bit off the bottom too. Alright. My daughter is very quiet. Okay, I cut some batting. Uh, this is quilting batting. It's so soft. This is what I bought to make a baby blanket. Uh, I love it. Okay, I think I'm going to use hot glue. It's like a new thing I'm trying. Um, although hot glue really does terrify me, so apparently I'm feeling brave. Oh, that, okay, yeah, that is stuck down now. Whether it is straight or not or in the right place, that is where it's going to live. Okay, do we like this? Yes, I think that looks good. Okay, I'm just going to start gluing um, like bear edge bear. by edge. Hot. Bear bear is hot. Bear bear is hot? Okay, hot. Oh. Sorry, I got distracted. My daughter was talking to me. <laughs> I think I only got this corner down. There we go. Okay. So far so good, right? Oh, it looks so nice. Oh no, I need to find my glue sticks. Shoot. All right, I'm switching to fabric tack because I have no idea where my glue sticks are <laughs> for the hot glue gun. So this will have to do. Fabric tack usually sticks pretty well, but I've been having a hard time with it for some reason. Usually it's fast and whatnot, but this bottle has not been sticking fast. I'm not sure what the deal is. Now it's all over my fingers already. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the back and I will be right back. Oh my gosh. You guys. Oh, it's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> it's like a, it's a hard cover, but you know, soft. It has that squishiness and it's just in the center. It's so nice. I like it. 
Okay, how did I have these on here? Start from the top and work our Mommy. way down. Mommy. Yes. My daughter is literally playing right next to me with her vet kit. So, <laughs> you'll go there. And you go Mommy, here. I'll be this. Two more. And then we'll start gluing them down. Hope everyone is well. Are you guys participating in this challenge or any other challenge? I think there's a lot going on right now. Um, and the holiday season is coming and gotta start making Christmas cards and tags and stuff and gifts. I feel very unprepared for the holidays this year. And I was invited to a Friendsgiving too. And uh, we're all, you know, bringing something. I feel I'm prepared for that too. And that's on Saturday <laughs> or Sunday. Whoa! Oh man. Yep. Yeah, bitch. All right, I'm gonna try to use this. I don't know if it will stick to the fabric. We'll find out. Fabric. Or even to you know whatever this this is. Thank you. I dropped it. For yes, I did drop it. Thank you for retrieving it for me. Yeah. Um, more. There's more. Yeah. I don't think there's more. It appears to be sticking. Just gotta hold it for a more. second. Oh, thank you. Um, more. I'm making a journal. What are you doing? Mom, I do it. I'm making a journal. What are you doing? My daughter. What are you doing? I love owls. I love crafting with owls. I feel like I do that a lot. They're very pretty. Yeah, I guess my son yeah. has an owl at yeah. school. Yeah. Thought that was a little strange. Yeah. He's new to the school, so I don't know. We don't get a lot of information because he's new. <laughs> and at this point, everyone already knows everything. Owl. Yeah, that's an owl. And the owl. There's lots of owls. I put lots of owls. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven owls. Oh my goodness. I gave an owl. I gave an owl. Okay. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so fun. I love it you. I love it too. You love it too? All right, I'm going to get Penelope some applesauce and then we'll work on the inside cover back here. One second.
Okay, let's work on the inside cover. I keep trying to figure out what I wanna do here and I just need to simplify this for myself. Um, Cause I keep trying to wanna make it complicated. So I did make a moon, not a very good moon, but a moon. So I'm gonna put that back here it's going to be a flip up. I think you should be able to write on this. Maybe I should run this through my laminator. This is watercolor paper and watercolor uh, pencils and some mica spray that I painted on. So I'll uh, input the footage of me trying to make this, but I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to this kind of stuff, so. Okay. So, yes, I think that, and then I think I want to use one of these envelopes and try to make it look like a door. that would be underneath the moon. I don't know how I'm gonna make it look like a door, but I think that would be cool. <laughs> and I'm also gonna have to figure out how to decorate it after it's already in the book, because I just wanna kinda get things in, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna decorate things yet. Then I was also thinking, Maybe I can do some this way in the front. Have to cut them down some to flip this way and this way. Maybe this one like that. And then I can also maybe have a pocket underneath. I'm thinking, what if I just like coffee dyed these? and just kind of left them as is and then decorated over, you know, the parts we don't want to see necessarily. That could kind of be cool. And then I would want to decorate the inside. So when there's nothing in the envelope, this, you know, looks pretty. Or just put some pretty paper in there. I think that's what I want to do. Ideas are starting to happen slowly but surely. These are coffee dyed and I am going to cut them to size. Kind of have to, I'm gonna start I have a lot of things going on in my head right now. I'm so sorry. I am feeling really flustered and lost right now. I am gonna cut off these top flaps. I just don't want to deal with them. Um, so those will be gone. You know what? want these to be the same size so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna try to line them up on this edge as best as possible and I okay I will figure this out I got this all right cutting this first flap off And since we are here, we'll cut this one off as well. Um, I am cutting these off because once I cut this, then it, like this flap isn't going to be centered. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that look, but I also don't think they're necessary um, to have right now. So 
I'm just going to remove them. There we go. Gone. Now, this one goes this way, this one goes this way. These are the edges we want to line up. It just needs to be close. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. Now they're the same size. And since I am here, I am going to use black cardstock. Um, for my hinges. And make them about an inch wide. Actually don't know, these aren't the same height. I did not take that into account, but that's okay. It shouldn't matter too much. Okay, and then if we want to get really fancy, uh, I'm going to grab a piece of tape here to help, help me. Tape that down. And I'm going to score it at a half inch, so halfway through. The same for this piece. And using the tape just kind of holds this in place since my fingers can't get under this bar. So it doesn't move and shift on you. It's a good little tip. Now I don't think I am going to cover the inside of this book. I think I'm just, at least right now, I'm going to leave it as is. I don't know, maybe later I'll want to cover it and regret that I'm moving forward with this. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this is the top one and we are open. So I'm thinking I want to put paper on the inside. We have to decide if this here is going to bother us. I, oh, here it doesn't bother me. I'm not sure about here because it's a lot of it. Ooh. Okay. Right now I'm going to focus on just covering the inside and I think I think I'm just going to use book page and that will be to cover this side so you're seeing it through the paper or through the window. Wow. Okay. I want to save the number. I love the numbers in this book. Okay. So let's see. I'm not worried about covering the entire inside because you're not going to see it. So we really just need to cover the window part. Kind of need to figure out where that is. People didn't think I had done all those things right above that line. Oh gosh, I didn't, I don't see, there it is, right there. Okay, so a little bit above that. I'm gonna use glue stick for this and 
move this out of the way for a moment. Alrighty. I am, uh, I started filming this video like a couple days ago now. And um, yeah, just a lot keeps happening. I'm trying to find a scrap piece of paper to glue on. Um, a lot keeps happening and is becoming very overwhelming. A lot of work stuff has come in and it is a, a week until Thanksgiving right now and then Christmas stuff begins. So, and it, it's, it's, it's a lot. Oh, I kind of like it a little crooked. Do you guys like that? I'm keeping it. And flatten. So I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed. And I don't know how I'm going to balance the work stuff I have to do, all my family time, and doing this. And it uh, makes me sad. Okay, I just pulled another page. I'm going to rip this part off because I want to use those in something. I don't know what. the number off. Hopefully this piece is big enough. Yay! Covers the windows. Oh, there's like nothing on the back. Okay. I don't know, are you all... I don't know if you'll see this before Thanksgiving or after, but... Are you ready for Christmas? I follow um, Jennifer Todrick um, on Instagram. She hosts a show on HGTV called No Demo Reno, but I follow her on Instagram. And she's like, done before December, meaning she's planning on being done with her Christmas shopping before December. And she's like, join me. And like most years, I feel like we are, we're super prepared. We know what we want to get everything, everyone, and we end up getting it quickly. I mean, if we order something online, like maybe that straggles in a little bit, but we usually are done before December, but this year it's just been so hard to function. <laughs> So I have no idea what we're getting people. I have no idea what we're going to do for the children. And yeah, I don't know. It's overwhelming more than normal this year. So sorry. <laughs> sorry if I'm feels like I'm complaining or just talking about nothingness. But that's what's going on right now. I think I'm gonna just glue this inside. It should go this way, I think. Okay. But now, when this flips open, do we want to see this or should I cut it to size there? I don't know. Oh, that's just, it's frustrating because I am not quite sure what to do. I think I'm just going to leave it because you know what? This might be seen. It might go under a pocket. I, I don't know. My plans are not uh, concreted in. Like, I have no idea. And this one goes this way. So, 
That one we don't need to worry about at all. And then this, gluing this piece in, also glues the envelope shut on that side. And then it flips open this way. And then we will need to decorate them. But I'm gonna put them in the book first. I don't know if I'm gonna get to decorating. My husband and daughter just went to go get some food and they'll be right back. And I'm gonna have to eat, so. <laughs> okay. What is the best way to do this? I feel like not this way. The way I'm going is not the best way to do it. Okay. Put this part in first and I want it close to this edge, but not, it still needs to be able to fold over. Okay, now I can glue this edge in. And that one's done. Do this one. And this side. It is easier if you come this way. <laughs> and Try not to get your glue off your hinge because that's gluing your pocket closed. And of course I'm telling myself this, not you guys, because I'm sure y'all are very careful where you put the glue. <laughs> okay. And, all right, this is the front and the top. Okay, so this one goes here, and this one goes here. Now, hold up. I do want to put fabric in the center to kind of help reinforce the spine here. And this one, I'm not worried about. It's this one. This could be a problem. I put these right to the edge. Okay. Hmm, should I glue this on top of the fabric? Yeah, why not? We can do that. Okay, so we'll put the fabric on first. I do think this is a little wide though, right? we should slim it up a bit. Cause this is, this is only gonna be one signature, maybe like a thick signature, or we can do like two smaller ones, but like sew them in really close together. Cause obviously the spine is very small. So it only fits, it's only gonna fit one signature. I pulled a lot of papers. I, I probably have to get rid of some papers is what I need to do. But, okay. I see a line right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's I'm, it's probably tape or something where, where the manufacturer reinforced the spine. So I'm gonna kind of go off that, I think. All right. And it is, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's about an inch and three quarter. So, inch and three quarter. Scissors, scissors. These are not fabric scissors, so. About right there. And there we go. Fun. Look how nice that looks. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. 
And do we want it sticking out a little bit? Hmm. Let's see. Stay in there. Yeah, I don't think that's going to bother anything. Just ever so slightly. Now you can tear one way, but I don't think you're really supposed to tear both ways. Okay. Alrighty. It worked. We're good. It's all good. I'm gonna pull a little, little bit more thread out. Now there's red threads everywhere. Okay. Oh dear. They're st sticking to me. Okay, let's glue this in with glue stick. It will work. You can glue fabric down with this glue stick. And you don't have to worry about it being goopy or anything like that. See? Perfect. Oh, that's, that is nice. I love it. Yep, and then this can go right over. And, yep, I like it. Okay, so this one's going to go right here. Now, will this glue this to here? That I don't know. We'll try it, but might need fabric tack. Should I put the bottom one on first? Because now I'm thinking like, well, I can't put anything tall in this pocket. I mean, you can have it stick out. That's not a problem. You will do that. All right. Stick. I think it's sticking. I'm just gonna hold it down. Get my bone folder. Really crease it in there. There we go. Yeah. I like it. Put this one low ish. I think I'm gonna put a pocket behind it too. Is that too confusing? A little much, maybe. Actually, ooh, what I think I wanna do is when you flip these up, then maybe you can pull something out, like a large, a large envelope that has magnets on it, but then you could like lift it out, put what you want in there, take what you want out of there. Yes. And then maybe we can decorate this page, like put, I don't know, I don't know what, but we can put something here, like a secret note or something. Sometimes you just have to get going and then ideas come. And I know this to be true. It's just sometimes it's hard to like sit down and get going because you really don't have any kind of idea of what you want to do. Okay, I like this. Okay, they do need some decorating. Over here. Over here, I want to make one of the envelopes look like a door. Then I have the moon and behind it, I have one Harry Potter thing that is on that I purchased on my Cricut previously to making this. 
and it is like a silhouette of Hogwarts. So I think I'm gonna decorate this page with that. Um, just wanna keep true to the no purchase or no buy, you know, thing of, of, of this challenge. So don't wanna buy any new items off my Cricut. So that's what I wanna do here. I haven't cut it out yet. I don't know how it will work because this is such a small area, but we'll see. I'll try to figure something out. But yeah, I'm thinking Hogwarts will go here. And then we'll have the moon and the door. So like you flip one, flip other, and then you have a nice little scene behind it. For now, I think that will have to be another video. So right now I am going to stop this video. Um, maybe we need something too that holds this closed. Yeah, okay, we'll have to figure that out. I don't know what that will be, but I was gonna do magnets, but then I had the other idea of having something here that pulls out. Well, maybe it can just sit in there and if these oh i don't know the magnets might be t okay if i just have something lay in here will the magnets be tight enough that it kind of holds it in so if you stand the book up it doesn't just slide out the bottom that is the wonder but we'll try it in another video <laughs> or maybe this one. I don't know. All right. I'm going to go think. Okay. I've made some decisions. I am going to cover this strip up with some torn book page. Same with this. And then I'll also do the same to cover the magnet that will sit on here and here, here and here. So, that is as far as I have gotten. I think it's a good start. Okay, how thick should this be? It does have to be thick enough to cover the magnet. These are the magnets I have. These are big ones. I don't have small ones. When I bought these, they were out of small ones. And I don't know if they ever got them back in stock because I never got an email about it, so. Okay. I'm just using a tearing ruler. Perfect. And we can't cover it completely because there needs to be space for this to move, and I don't really want to take this into the crease. I mean, it is thin enough. Maybe that would be okay. Nope, nope, nope. 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 <laughs> You're all done sleeping? I'm not sleeping. Okay. I don't think you actually did any sleeping. Me? Yes, you. It's dark. That is the cap for the glue stick. I love it. No, it's not a toy. I love it. You love it? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, you may not have it. I love my yogurt. Okay. My yogurt. Mommy? Mommy? That's going to go right there. Right there? Yes, it goes right there in this has room to flippy flap. All right, sorry. <laughs> My daughter came in. She thought she had taken a nap, but she really just laid down for about 30 seconds. And then I was like, I'm all done sleeping. And then she wanted a yogurt. So <laughs> she is now having a yogurt. And I'm just gonna try to make this about the same way. And here, 
here. Ooh, I like this side. Okay. Okay. And then we'll use this one here for the other, for the magnet. <laughs> that didn't even tear on the ruler. Do you see that? Okay. I do apologize for earlier if it seems like I am complaining a lot, but I just, this is my real life. So, and it's hard to have a conversation with people that can't like talk back in the moment to you. So I kind of get stuck of like, well, what else do I talk about besides, you know, telling you what's going on in my life? And feel free to share in the comments, if you want, what's going on in your life. This is a safe space. And I think as makers, like, we, you know, we do this for ourselves because we enjoy it. But it can also be the first thing that gets set aside when everything gets crazy. And then you're not... Uh, you're not doing something for yourself that you enjoy and then it's just it's all give 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 and you you aren't wah, replenishing yourself with your needs and wants if that makes sense I don't know how to uh oh Uh-oh, I dropped one. Where did it go? Did you guys see where that went? Oh, no, they're stuck together. Oh, dear. That's not good. Oh, okay, they came apart pretty easy. Okay. Whew. All right, so what we want to do is peel this peels pretty easy i'm gonna stick it um hmm i it can stick close to the edge i don't know if i'm gonna cover it on this side maybe if i want to cover it, it needs to be off the edge a little bit okay right there looks good <laughs> And now we do stick them together and we peel this, fold this over where we want it to lay, stick down. There we go. Ooh, I love magnets. Magnets are magical. There we go. And now we can cover this one with this. Don't have to, but I'm going to. Now, hmm, let me look at this. Do we want these strips to be longer? Do we want something else underneath them? I think we can decorate around them. So I'm just gonna leave it. We're just gonna keep going. Not worry about what comes next. That is always my struggle with uh, junk journals because there's so many things you can do but like if you don't think of it ahead of time <laughs> it's hard to execute after the fact but just gonna keep keep going all right my daughter is done with her yogurt i mean then if you cover this one and you cover this one it's like <gasps> How does it do that? No, okay. Obviously, obviously it's a magnet. I will be right back. All right, let's do this one now. I'm just gonna pull one out at a time. Ah, 
you see that? It just jumped. Sorry, being quiet. Hi. Okay. There we go. Okay. I am going to end the video here for real. All right. I think this is what we did in this video. We decorated part of the front cover. We have like some batting under this fabric and it's squishy and it's nice gives some dimension and we also did the same to the back very nice and you can't like there's glitter on here and you can kind of feel that in the fabric so lots of texture it's very fun and then on the inside added some fabric to uh, reinforce the spine then we have two flip pockets here so fun and we use junk mail and we use book page. So check, check. And we use fabric. <laughs> so we are good there. Getting the checklist off, making progress, little progress at a time, but that is okay. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are still here, I hope you feel inspired and motivated and you get some good crafting time in today. Let's get together again soon.